So the first two times I arrested, I didn't have a traumatic experience. This one, I got to tell you, this was absolutely brutal. They used five pain compliance on here. He first took his thumb and dug it so deep into my neck that it choked off my esophagus and I thought I was going to die right there. Well, he's going to kill me right here, right now. I couldn't talk. I couldn't catch a breath. Nothing. Thanks to Nancy who pulled him off of me and said, hey, don't do that to her. You know, and then from there, when he had my head here, it doesn't look like it was such a big deal because yeah, it was only a few inches from the pole. And this is the cage for the water pump. And they were pumping out 5 billion gallons of water from these waterways in a drought, in a drought. And so on this particular day, Enbridge was coming up for the first time to unlock this gate and for the first time to draw water out of the Mississippi, which was already so low it was ridiculous. And so then he, he took my head and he, he, he pushed it into this pole. But the, his pound per square inch, because when I was looking at him, I'm like, why do you have a confession from that? And then I remember the pressure on his hand. He just pushed it into that pole as hard as he could. Then he took my fingers and bent them back to the point that they were going to break. And then he did the same thing to my wrist. And then he whipped my arm around to, to, um, to try and handcuff me. And, um, yeah, so I've got a concussion. And um, still I've had headaches every day since July 29th since it happened. I'm on two medications for the concussion. I'm on post-traumatic stress medication. Um, and then they also... You know, I tried to tell them while they were doing this. I said, you can't, you can't do this. You know, I have a metal neck. I have three fused discs already. Um, you know, there's no need to brutalize anyone. But old people, you know, we break real easy. And I kept saying that, you know what, you can break me real easy. Well, he did. I, um, I know uh, they did an MRI. And um, they say I need to have now my neck fused to my spine as if I'll never be able to turn my head like this or like this again, I'll be like a statue. If, if I was a Native American grandma, if I was a, a, you know, a black grandma, if I was a Latino grandma, there wouldn't have been two million views of it. And that's sickening, that's sickening. You know, but because it was a white elder, now everybody's all you know, aware, aware of what's going on. So that's, that's why I'm so proud of taking that stand. So you really need to, to support Support everybody. You need to get this message out. Everybody that's watching this, get the message out because um, we need you as much as we need frontliners.